Guys, when you start with your feet on the hips, a nice control in the sleeve, make sure your toe outside. The guy's gonna pull the sleeve towards you and lift your hips a little bit off the floor. Don't keep your hips lazy on the floor, okay? Keep your hips a little bit off the floor. You guys are gonna pop your hips to one side and you step in the biceps in the other side. When you step in the biceps, don't leave your leg like a full extent. It's gonna be a your knee a little bit bent, just a little bit, okay? Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna kick my leg all the way through. And as I kick, I start to pull the sleeve towards my chest. Make sure when you play last, don't leave the hands like here. Every time you last from here, the person will rotate the arm out and you guys are not gonna have the last. So make sure when you kick, you kick through and you pull the sleeve towards your chest. Your palm is super important. Start to turn your palm facing up. Okay, don't leave your palm facing down. Facing up. When you get the last, you get a strong last. Try to go as deep as you can behind the back. Look at how I use this part of my foot to hook his back. Right here. Right? I'm gonna start to open my knee and pay attention now. This is the most important detail to be able to attack. I'm gonna keep my elbow in and my, look at how my face, my palm facing up. It's not here, it's not loose. Should be here. Now look at how I'm gonna hang on him. I'm gonna curl my toes. My hips go off the floor. Look at how I'm gonna place his elbow close to his hips. Like this, look. Right? I need to curl my toes. I start to ride my hips up and I switch this side, to the, to the other side. Okay, so look at how his elbow is close to his shoulder, sideways, it's not like a back, right? It's like more sideways. Look at how my knee is still a little bit bent, and this hook here is super tight behind his back. Okay, you guys are gonna do three times this, and the third time you guys are gonna get a grip in the car. So again, so you're here, your hips up, apply some pressure in your knee, pop your hips to the side, you step in the biceps. Now, I'm gonna kick my leg through, Pull the sleeve towards my chest. When I get the last big circle, make a nice hook in the back. Make sure you start to open your knee. Now look at my hips, it's face all the way to the left. I start to rise my hips up, I curl my toes, and when I switch, look at my hips all the way to the right. Okay, switch everything, right? And the last time, in the third time, you guys are gonna grab the cock. So pop your hips to the side, step in the biceps, kick your leg through, pull the sleeve towards your chest, Get the last. Nice and tight. Look at how I hook his back. Look at my palm house facing up and look at my elbows inside. Everything's super tight. So rise your hips up to make your partner carry your weight. Curl your toes. When you switch here, pay attention now. I'm gonna let it go the sleeve and I'm gonna go, go to his collar. Cross grip in the collar. I'm gonna bring him down and the same time I pull the collar, I'm gonna start to bring my knee close to my chest. I'm gonna use this hook to bring him down. Here. I don't want him here, look away from me. I want him close to be able to attack. So that's where I'm up to us. One person is going to do three, the other person is going to do three. Okay? I'm going to do a regular motion to you guys see, then you guys going to do it. So look, I grab the collar, the line of the collar bone, I bring him down, look at my hook, I'll bring him close. More you bring the guy close to you, more chance you're gonna have to attack. Yeah? Yes? Let's go for it. Yes, yes. Um, when you let go of the sleeve of the collar, you start to get the bicep or put it More close to the shoulder. So she asked about when I switch to the collar, like this, I prefer to go more close to the arm. My, so I have the biceps, I go more here. I feel it's harder to hand palm. Like a here, it's kind of like it's to hand palm in escape. When I slide close, his arm pin is a little hard when you play with the palm. If you can do this, it's even better. Good, good question. Guys, got it? Yes? Let's go, one, two. The side I extend my leg, I move my hip to the other side. Try to place your knee, as close, your head as close as possible to your knee. Don't be like in this position. Okay, kind of right here is good to attack when, you, when the person doesn't have this grip or when you have the last. So to control your partner better, it's better to extend the biceps and you move your hips to the opposite side. Okay, look how I place my knee, my head close to my knee and I bring my knee close to my chest as much as I could. Okay, look and try to drag, Professor. So look how it's hard to hit to move. Okay, so try to keep everything nice and tight. Now I'm gonna break this grip. My foot go off of the biceps. I'm gonna kick it through and I'm gonna pull the sleeve towards my chest. 
I'm gonna get the last, same thing, right? Raise your hips up, switch sideways. Now I want you guys to do three times the collar control. Right, standing do just spider, get the collar control. Try to slide your heel close to your partner armpit and bring your partner down. Okay, three times. So again, start with the double spider, extend your leg, try to put your head close to your knee, break the grip, get the last, make sure your palm is facing up, keep everything nice and tight, rise your hips up, switch sides, get the collar, make sure you fall, try to palm okay? Tell your partner to try to palm him, okay, to guys follow the elbow, okay, don't be right here, with the collar it's easier to him escape and get control. I want you guys like be able to follow your partner because your partner you try to do this during the fight. No one is gonna just win from the attacks. Okay, try to like control and follow the elbow. Okay, curl your toes and try to place your heel under the your partner arm. Okay? So just one more time. So regular spider, extend one side, peeve in your back, try to be as close as possible to your knee. Bring your knee close to your chest. Try to be heavy here. Look at how I, I just have like my lower back on the floor. Okay, break this grip. Get the last. When you start to square, it's to attack. I start to square, I extend my leg, grab the collar, control, bring him down. Okay, try to hang a little. Be heavy here. All right, more you pull and bring your knee close to your chest and elevate your hips, heavier you'll be in this position. Get it? Yes, let's go, one, two. Six minutes, let's go. We're gonna attack after that, let's go. Yeah. Whenever, whenever I'm on bottom after I square up, I feel like I have to flare my elbow to really get a good pull from that lasso, I mean. I do, like I do it as I, I feel, you can do it, like this, but I feel as every time I break the grip and I get the lasso, that's when I try to just like, like open my knee here. That's a, that's a question. Well, like your left arm there, I feel like I have to really flare my elbow on bottom. Do it, let me see. Can I show you? Yeah, let's look. Yeah. So whenever I square up here, yeah. I feel like I, to get a good pull, to get in low, mm -hmm. I have to open. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Okay. Try to move her hips a little bit more that way, yes. The more you move your hips this way, the more pressure you're going to have in the knee, harder you'll be to hand circle the, the, the arm. Yep. The more you square, easier to hand circle the hands. Understood. You see? Like move your hips, yes, exactly. I think this is the key. Okay. Yeah, I can feel the difference. Yeah. yeah. So when your knee goes, because, come here. When you play last. So guys, it's important to understand. So the beginning of the position is just to get a good control, right? I break the grip, I get here just to get a good control. To attack him, I need to square and move to the side of the last. If you want to attack submissions, that's the side that should be. Okay, here, it's really hard to attack submissions with the last. It's easier to go, uh, take the last off and start to attack, like a triangle, more plata. Okay, you have all the attacks here. But if you want to use the last to attack, so it's better if you square. Okay, and always open your knee, look. More pressure you apply your knee down, Harder you be to the guy circle the hands. You guys know all the attack going by. All the, the most of the pass to the person on top, if he's circle the hands outside, the person has more leverage to escape and pass. When the hands is here, it's really hard to pass. You wanna try to maintain these hands here, the entire uh, position, in order to keep a good control and attack from there, okay? Remember the position you guys saw last week from close guard? When you get this position, remember that? Yes. You're gonna do a very similar position. You're gonna get in a very similar spot. Of course, uh, the person's gonna be a little bit more in standing position. He's not gonna be bonus on the floor, okay? But it's pretty much the same concept. You guys are gonna pinch your knees and control the arm in your pocket. Exactly the same thing. And you're gonna finish it very similar. You have a bunch of attacks from there, but this way, I feel the whole placa. Even when you start to get a high range, like a brown belt, black belt, it's always gonna be there. The triangle is a little bit hard to reach when the person has a good understand how to defend it. The knee always gonna be between the legs. The will plot because you move your hips outside, it's easier to, uh, to do uh, even when the level is better, okay? And I recommend you guys do this when you face a, a large opponents, when the person is a little bit heavier than you. It's a great position to move the weight of your partner away from you. Okay, triangle, you always, when you shoot in triangle, 
the person have opportunity to stack you. In the omoplata position, the weight's gonna be off you. Like, you're not gonna feel the weight of your partner. Against heavy opponents, I feel omoplata is a great submission when you attack on bottom, okay? In my opinion, much better than arm bar, much better than triangle, because the weight's not gonna be on top of you, okay? So let's see. So you get the last series square, and you're here. Again, when you get a collar, you wanna bring the person as close as possible. I feel a lot of people try to do this position, try to reach from here. If you let it go the sleeve to try to go to the tri from here, he's gonna see, he's gonna put the arm up. So try to pull the arm at, as, for, as close as possible to you, like this, and then when you let it go the sleeve, you go here. When you grab the triceps, it's not gripping the gi, it's a cut grip. Try to do like a C grip here, look. Sorry, it's not a cut grip, it's a C grip. Try to grab right here close to the triceps, and I'm gonna rotate his arm, I'm gonna do this way. As I pull, I extend my leg. When I extend my leg, look, I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna start to extend my leg. When my knee starts to pass the line of his arm, I step in his back, and look how I'm gonna rise my hips up, and I'm gonna switch sides. So it's exactly the same position, right? But now he's in standing position. Look at he, how his hands is in my pocket, my hips is off the floor, I step in his back, and look at my knees. It's pinched here. When I get here, I know I have the position. Because he's standing, I'm not gonna pass my leg over, and I'm gonna let it go to the collar, I'm gonna keep the collar. I'm gonna step my leg over, I'm gonna start to square, and I'm gonna lock, like remember, don't lock like a regular finger four, try to lock more like a diamond, to have a more pressure in the shoulder. What happened here, if you guys notice, he's still standing, it's kinda like easy to him step his leg over, step over, professor, and he start to go to the other side to escape, okay? As soon as you get here, so the hands is free, start to block the, your partner knee. You start to block your partner knee and move away. Do like a shoulder walk. In the same time as shoulder walking, I apply pressure down. When am I gonna let go of this grip and the grip in the collar? When he's dropping his knee on the floor. I'm gonna start to apply pressure down. When he's dropped, now it's time to let go of the collar and he's trying to get on top. Okay, when you get here, remember the options I gave you guys last, I gave you guys last week? Try to keep it locked like a diamond, pinch your knees, keep your hips a little bit away. It's not like a square or inside, it's more outside. Option number one, you grab the lapel, okay? As close as possible to your partner arpin. Do a little hip escape to the side and bring your partner flat to the floor. Every time your partner is flat, there's no way to need a front row and you're gonna get a submission, okay? Your leg go back, secure the position, holding the elbow and finish. So remember, when you go to the submission, it's not this direction, it's across. Across the other shoulder. In your head. So you get here, you bring your partner as close as possible to you, you let it go the sleeve, you grab the triceps. When you pull, you kick her leg. When your knee starts to pass the line of the, the arm, I step in the back, look how it is my heel. My hips go off the floor and you start to switch sides. That's the position you need to get. If you get here, you have. Okay, don't be lazy on your hips. Your hips should be off the floor. Use the back of your partner. Look. Okay, hang in the collar. You step your leg over and keep the collar grip. The collar grip is gonna prevent the guy posture up. If you let go the collar, he's gonna posture up, then the elbow is going. So look, keep it here. Try to posture up. Look how he's hanging my weight. Right? So push it, apply pressure down, your, use your legs and the shoulder and keep the grip in the collar. So this hands here, I always block the knee. When you push the knee, I'm gonna use this hand to push the knee and I shoulder walk, look. As I bring him down. When it's down, my heels go to the floor, let it go to the collar, close, and get here. Option number two, if you have a, put this in the first place. If you have more time, let's say you get here, you feel you have a control body position, you just wanna like a secure the situation. You open the lapel, and you cross grip. Look, my tongue looking up, and my elbow go to his back. Look how I apply pressure here, look. Now, the other grip you go close, you can see grip the ankle or grab the pants, whatever grip you like. The most of the time, I use a C grip. My elbow go to the floor, when I scoop, as I pull, I push, like this. When it's fall, I go here. Shoulder, leg back. So look, I just hang the shoulder and then I get on top. It's just to give me leverage to put myself on top. You don't want to, I don't know, maybe the lapel to switch to the elbow? 
Oh uh, no, I keep it like this. Yeah. Okay. I feel this grip is very tight. That's my favorite grip, of course. You need to kind of like feel the position. Like if you have a time the person kind of like give up in the position, you get control and then you go. Okay? So that's my favorite attack from the spider last so we can talk about submissions. Uh, it's always there. It's, it's a position I hit like a lot of fights during my career. It's like, I really like this position. Try to understand how you picture this. I feel people lose the position from here, look. From here. If you rush it, try to pass the leg straight up. When his posture up, his elbow is gonna bring it up. It's important to guys, when you get here, you pinch your knees, look. Try to like hang here, and then you have. Okay, you don't have to rush. It's like position of you have a control. You step your leg over, lock like a, look at how I'm still like a, kind of like a knot here. I'm still like a face him. I control his knee, and I shoulder walking as I bring him down. When he's dropped, then I have to sit up. As soon as your partner drop, don't waste time. Then is the time you have to sit up to get submission. Okay, Be like before that, it's more about control and make sure you keep his posture down and his arm inside. You guys understand? Yes or no? Yes. Any questions? Yes or no? Yeah. Let's go. One, two. Look great for you guys.